Uh, that's good. Oh wait, why am I going to engineering bay? Alright. So now I believe I need to load all my troops back in. And set sail again for contested lands. Two, one. Alright, not that bad, but still, not pretty. Do I have any income cards I can use right now? Because that would be great. I can decrease revenue. Ah, here we go. Let's us uh, 4,000, that's five. So let's just increase the revenue here. No reason to not. Ah, uh, I should probably send some units over there. Listen to Dork once bumped uglies. Dwarven scientists discover shocking truth. Why the war drags on. The emperor ate my hamster. <laughs> Invigorate limp wrist. To be yep. honest, Commander, I had expected more of old man Charwin. One has but to look at lizards to see whether they be distant relatives of orcs or not. Some great, great, great grandmother of theirs romanced a snail at some point. Silly creatures. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming Edmund was fine with it. Well, Commander, I must admit I was not wrong, but a tad less correct than I could have been about Dahl's Charwin White Whiskers, the dwarven scientist whose findings riled me so. As it would turn out, his article was far from complete. But the Rivalon Scientific Gazette uh. wanted to publish it nonetheless, so as to make an ill portrayal of us lizards. The chief editor is some exasperating elf, apparently, who was once outwitted by a lizard in a business deal. Of course he was. <laughs> the researcher's true findings, though, are quite interesting to say the least. The ancestor theory seems likely, but somewhere down the road a complete split was made wherein all that was strong and shrewd flowed to our line, and all that was backward and bland was left to the orcs. His work is a celebration of lizard triumph in the course mm. of evolution. I have seen to it, it will be published the realm round. There we have it, a dwarven scholar worth his salt. I had thought it as likely as Henry showing a display of wit, but I was mistaken, and that is a phenomenon less frequent than a snowstorm in the deserts of youthful Gaul. Edmund is of a very rare sunshiny disposition today, <laughs> Commander. Gives me the shivers when he bids me good day instead of offering me his normal stare. You know, the one as if he's looking upon an accident left on the carpet by someone's dog. Yes, Commander. What are you the worst situation? It's a matter of time now, Command. You're getting too excited. You inquire Again, this is just a small part of Rivalon we're taking control of. Huh. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Chemical warfare. Why not? Ray of power and Aegis. Aegis reflector. Commander, I'd like to address some issues I have with the Rivlon Times. Mm -hmm. Now, I know the press will try to embellish stories to make for more savory reading material. But half the stuff they print nowadays is fabricated nonsense of an almost always sensational or slanderous nature. I want you to reprimand them, Commander. I want it to be known that from now on they must either publish the truth or else publish no longer. That's a very thin line you're proposing. Now see this wording, I appreciate. I really, really appreciate this wording of will you restrict the freedom of the sensational press. I see no imp interest in this matter at all, Commander. I'll just flip a coin then. Heads means yes, tail means no. And heads, yeah. Go ahead and reprimand them. <laughs> The Rivalon Times is a dwarven and therefore commercial enterprise, Commander. Juicy stories sell copies. That is simplicity itself. 
are categorically deny, by the way, that our editors spread lies. Or, at the very least, spread lies on purpose. So, if a chambermaid divulges to us a minister of the crown likes to spank his mistress in the bedroom, and this later turns out to be untrue, she is at fault, not we, for having printed her tale. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree with Prospera more, Commander. The Rivalon Times journalists aren't simple fact-finders. No, they ferret for filth. Ever since I've become a counselor aboard the Raven, I've discovered dwarven newspapermen under my bed on no less than three separate <laughs> occasions. And one I caught climbing through the bathroom window. <laughs> the Rivalon Times is no more than a daily dose of heresy for those that sinfully partake. I agree. I thank you, Commander. To inform the general public of the events of the Empire is a great responsibility, not a lackadaisical frivolity. The okay, so we just do like the coin says then. We could flip one every bloody time, you know? Sure would put an end to all this bloody bickering. <laughs> That'd be great. But, but this reprimand will kill business. Who wants to read mere facts? Facts are boring. God blame it, Commander. Reprimand if you must, but don't break the news until I've sold all my shares in the case. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Commander. I can tell you it was all very embarrassing for my wife to pick up the morning paper and find out I'd been tending to another garden on the side. She... She kept on hogging the rose bushes. My favorite. What was I to do? Have a very long discussion with your wife about how that's the issue you're having. What? Well, I guess <laughs> a reprimand is a first step. Does it include the raiding of the Rivalon Times' offices, perhaps? Shall they be gutted by fire? For that would be most agreeable and please the Seven. <laughs> Depends on the crime. So do I have anything else I can learn in here? No. No, I do not. Engineering. How's engineering going? For the Emperor. I don't have enough. Why, was, why did I do that? Alrighty then. So, one fight over here. Ah, I need to unload the transport. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense. Woo! Did they just pump out some troops? So, uh, b -b -b transport mercenaries, Zeppelin mercenaries. In fighter mercenaries, trooper mercenaries, grenadier mercenaries, and transport mercenaries. And I have 50 gold. I shall have Edmund lead my army. That Zeppelin just did a ton of damage. <laughs> Could you stop stabbing my troopers? That'd be... Fuck. <laughs> like, did you have to kill my troopers so hard? No headline today because the Rivalon Dives is being censored by Draconic Emperor. Our sincerest apologies. Dwarf Scholars celebrated Lizard Lineage I've been drunk, but never that drunk. Maxus finally discovers how clumsy dragon can be somewhat useful on the battlefield. Emperor mismanaging troops, soldiers to be pillaging and raping as if in the dark ages. The power behind the throne, Maxus amazes again. Dread roar. And invigoration. A curse yep. it be that hothead of a Henry commander. I'd rather swallow needles than endeavor a constructive discussion with him ever again. You know what he's like on the field. Always must he fly solo. Always must he go charging in like a bull in heat. Ridiculous. 
If he's thinking at all about what he's doing, it's with his brain that dangles, not deducts. The man's a menace, a danger to himself and others. Not everything has to do with sex, you know. Just saying. Yep. How delightfully entertaining to see Catherine and Henry exploding in rage over a strategic disagreement. Like children they are, vainly trying to prove to one another they have the better toy. Like you do with Henry a lot? Of course, none of the two realizes they could argue till the dwarves grow tired of gold and never reach the tiniest epiphany. To wage war requires a distinct brand of genius. Where they are found wanting, I am found abounding. Said the man who just lost three of my troopers. You taught our enemy the meat. By all the gods, real or imaginary, devils take my manhood <laughs> if that Catherine creature isn't a bigger bitch than a mountain sized mastiff. So, what if I wage war by my own rules and care little for her so called team tactics? That's no reason to question my ability. She's lucky she has tits to prove she's not a man, or I'd have beaten her more savagely than a dwarf is anvil. <laughs> Besides, what's the use of standing shoulder to shoulder when you know the fella next to you will run once the swords start ringing and the blood begins to flow? Aye, that's what happened the day I lost my arm. I stood my ground. Alone. And the rest of the Emperor's generals, they outran their wives and their litter trying to escape. So much for loyalty. So much for duty. I can imagine it's hard to put trust in someone when you've been through such an ordeal. We here might not form a band of brothers yet, but we never will unless you give the chance. I find it a lot easier to tell the benefit of the doubt it can go shag itself. But if you insist, I'll give the others a chance. Though I'm sure they'll prove to be a bigger disappointment than looking for a brothel in an elf town. I feel like the elves so far would actually be for a brothel. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but we'll see. Ah, how's things going over here? Transport, why not? Sea mines, yep. Alright. I guess we just continue on our little war that's going on over here. Ah, uh, why do you have to lose all my fucking... Bastard. He's gonna be an arrogant, stubborn prick. He can at least do it in the time where he didn't lose all my troops. <laughs> uh, two armor and two hunters. Hmm. All right, so I'm starting to think of doing something. Rather than waiting around 20 turns and wiping out all the uh, conversations that can happen and all the political decisions that can happen in the further, I think... What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to alt tab, load up Sheet Engine, and start messing with the research to give myself, I don't know, let's say 300 or 400 research, because I was just going to wait this out anyways, so I can just boost myself into having all the stuff when the time comes. Rather than now, which I'm just going to be sitting on the research, not doing anything with, and I'm just going to be ending turns a lot and doing a lot of political things. So to keep All things right, right. so I have it loaded in and it's booted up. Let's see how things turn out. So they're probably going to load up their troops and send them over here, right? Let's send one grenadier just in case. You going to move your troops? Or are you just going to sit on them? Probably just going to sit on them. Yeah. Raven bartender tired of General's drunken babble. All he talks about is imp arm, and he tips worse than a dwarf. <laughs> Emperor on holiday. Pictures inside. The Emperor is leading a double life. Boop, boop. Yep. Oh, my head. Feels like there's an imp wedding celebration going on in there, and they've just lighted the fireworks. 
I drank shots and played poker with Henry, Edmund, and Scarlet. Not a dime left in my pockets. But it was rather jolly, in a vulgar sort of way. Men will have their simple pleasures, you know. Games of chance, drinking games, etc. All made for a welcome change from Henry's moody ways, though. He was rather cordial, if you can believe it. Thought I'd see Maxos shave his beard first. <laughs> the bar. Ah, let's go to the bar. Well, isn't that an interesting thing they did? So, I... Hmm. So I'm gonna assume that they changed it so that you can't build up infinite research here in the beginning and they just changed the cap to 30. Would you look at that? They did a good change since the first time I played the game years ago when it first came out. Huh. Bravo. Well, I guess if it's intended to only have 30 and have all these researches done at 30, I'll leave it at that. I won't go any farther than that. I'll actually close Cheat Engine right now. Hold on, give me a second. Alright, didn't know that was the intended route now. That's kind of cool, actually. Sup, Commander? Scarlet. Hey. Uh, Next time Henry wants to play cards, I'll tell him I'd rather tongue kiss a rattler. Such an unrefined game, really. The pastime of booze hounds and imbeciles. Quite unfit for a man of my refinement. It's because you lost, isn't to it? To change the subject entirely, could I receive my wages a bit earlier this month? I've had some unexpected expenses. Mm. Commander, so I took your counsel to heart and decided I should give my fellow generals a chance to prove they are worthy of my esteemed friendship <laughs> and perhaps even trust. What better test I can put them to, I ask myself, than the holy game of poker. See who shrewd, behold who bluffs, descry who dares and when. So that's what I did. Rounded them up and played from dusk till dawn. You were right. They're not a bad bunch once you get to know them. Obviously, I left their purses <laughs> emptier than Yorick's skull, which does do wonders for my temper. Can't rightly say if that endeared me to them, but I'm sure as hell I'd like to see more of them once this month's wages come in. <laughs> Sup, right. Commander? She has nothing to say on that, though. She, she probably didn't lose too bad. I feel like she if she did lose anything backed out when she knew Henry was way above. You know that many of the greatest imp inventors and scientists suffer no end of injuries in the line of duty. Uh -huh. New and fickle weapons tend to, well, go boom at inopportune moments. Often, we heal their wounds with magic and replace lost limbs with models of engineering. But ever so often, they are beyond repair. In that case, we like to end their suffering by means of black rose extract. In the eyes of the law, though, this is murder. Mm -hmm. Life is a gift of the gods, and so of course is death. It is not up to mortals or undead to tamper with either of them, which is precisely what those impish charlatans are trying to do. But you're the one who goes around saying we should kill people, Tom. Wouldn't that be contra- Trinculo is mm. quite correct, Commander. That law is woefully outdated and should simply be abolished. Sometimes to kill is the only way to be merciful. No dwarf goes gently into the dark night if he can help it, Commander. We fight against the dying light with every sinew in our bodies, 
and no needle-wielding quack will bully well interfere. Only those who clung to every last breath are worthy of the eternal warrior's afterlife. Well, this is just allowing. This isn't like enforcing it on certain wounds or injuries. This is just allowing it. Mr. Shortfuse's proposal is a meritorious one, Commander. Every sun must set, and if the setting is one of suffering, why not speed it? If they want it, yeah, sure, but like this is a if they want I'm it thing. I'm glad you're being so sensible about this, Commander. One of our doctors had to resort to jailbreak after ministering to a miserable old dwarf almost burnt beyond recognition when he dozed off with a pipe in his mouth. Set his beard aflame in no time, the poor bugger. What could that imp do but slip him sweet sister sleep? So wait, you're telling me an imp gave it to a dwarf who didn't confirm whether or not he wanted it? Very wise of mm. you, Commander. Pain is such a terror. To relieve one's patience of it should be a physician's foremost care. Even if sometimes relief may prove to be definitive. So now we're catering to the weaklings that choose drugs over defiance. Doctors ought to treat their charges to the very end, not sing them opiate lull. Well done, Commander. It takes an enlightened mind to weigh life against death and realize that sometimes the latter is the kinder condition. If hmm. someone's last days are days of agony, the Seven have willed it so. Ease their torment, and you thwart the divine order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I don't know about that. Yep, everything's done here. Throne room. I've already done this. Why am I coming here? Oh my. Yep, yep, yep. She's just drunk. Okay. Now. How likely is it that I'm going to get blown up here with my two grenadiers? I'd say incredibly. But with an all in all combined defense, one that I will not need to be a part of and one that I should be a part of. I don't think I'll need to be any part of this. Oh my god, really? What? 12 troopers. Oh, they do have 12 troopers as well. Your grenadiers will do 50% more damage. Which won't matter. Well, that barely changed anything. Uh, your armors will move 50% faster. Transport, your grenadiers will have to I have a lot of. Ew, I'm gonna need to be a part of this battle. Uh, any of you gonna win this? Edmund might. Fuck it, Edmund. Let's see what you got. You failed me once. Let's see if you got me here. Ugh. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> this thing's going to fucking town. Oh my god. I'm almost out of troopers though. Oh my god, those things went to fucking town. Damn! Edmund earned your wages there. You've completely conquered the capital of Catherine and successfully stole all their belongings. Gold plus one, tech plus fifteen. Hold it for more than one turn to defeat your enemy. Now here, I get to play... Battle Rage. All pumped up. Invigorate and enhanced engines 
And I think that's it. Yep, that's it. I shall lead this battle personally. Purifying flames. To, to, to advantage. Yeah, I don't actually want this. I'll have it in my thing, but I don't really want it. Rejuvenation. When you deal damage, 30% of the damage is returned. Soar. Just increase movement speed. The speed at which you fly by 40%. Uh, Aegis. Aegis ain't bad. Let's put Aegis on. Sabotage is a bit rough. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's go. A drunk man's orders and a sober man's thoughts. Ooh, shit. No man can stop us. Construction underway, Commander. Construction in progress. Bring me the spoils of war. Exciting. Let's go. Seems we're going to be doing a sideway war. Completed. Not actually. Completed. Mm. Construction in progress. All right, so it looks like we're going to need to build up a battle forge here. Yeah, that'll do. Probably going to need it soon too, at the rate they're coming in. Out of recruits, Commander. Recruits, Commander. Out Come of on, Bill. was that? The rain of fire. Holy shit. Come on, I need my gun. actually have troops right here. Where were they firing from? Ah, they're there. I'm going. What's the medical Still just have a fucking beetle just floating around. This. Why are you attacking me with your transport? Ah! <laughs> I drained them of all their recruits. They were out of troops, period. Yeah. They were sending too many, just dwindling into my turrets at the front base, so... Kinda just ended for them really quick.
Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-